So when I'm in a painful place, I tend to seek God and draw near to him. Please do that. Don't let your pain drive you to despair. Let it drive you to God. Hebrews 12, 2. We're going to put this one up. This is what we're, we're going to jump in and see what the scripture says about this. It says, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Lay it aside. Don't dwell in it. Don't decorate the ditch and stay in it. Lay it aside. And the sin which so easily ensnares us that we talked about, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. That's what Jim Newkirk did. I got to see somebody do that in real life. He ran the race. Looking to who? Not to Kevin. Not to Amy. Not to Bishop. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of God. Your pain has been made holy through Jesus Christ. And so when you experience that, thank him for it. Now that doesn't make sense. But thank him for your pain. Don't live in it. Fight the devil. Fight the devil. Don't lay down for the devil. Thank God. Find your joy. As your pain draws you near to God, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about coming and taking the medicine of the sacraments. 